Hey guys, uh, my name is John Wood with On The Fly Jack Plates and today we're going to be talking about and showing you how to install the manual jack plate. Um, over here is our small manual jack plate and it comes with the jack plate housing, the installation manual, the jack, and the mounting bolts to mount the jack to the jack plate. Over here are the tools that we're going to be using to install the jack plate. You have your two C clamps, you have your 3M5200 tape measure, drill, you have your half inch by six inch drill bit, and then these are bolts and motor spacers that you can buy on our website. We started by C clamping the jack plate housing to the back of the transom, and this is our mock up uh, transom to show you all the install. Now, when I first start the install, I like to put in the motor side plate to make sure that it slides up and down nice and smooth, to make sure there's no side to side play, or to make sure there's not enough room to even get the plate in. Because what can happen is we have a round bar here at the bottom, and there is no round bar up at the top. So the jack plate sides can either go outwards or inwards and when that happens when you install it without checking the plate could have play or it could have zero play where you can't get the plate back inside of it so that's what we want to do when we double check that so starting out by drilling you're going to want to drill one of the top two holes first Now that we have drilled our first top hole, we're going to put the half inch by three and a half inch bolt through the drilled hole. We'll start out by putting the first washer on, sliding the bolt through, putting the second washer on, putting the lock washer on, then we'll put the nut on after that. Now we will tighten it down. And at this point, you do not need to use 5200 because at the end, we will take all the bolts out and then we will put our 5200 around each hole. Now, what we're going to do is make sure the plate slides up and down nice and smoothly. It's nice and smooth. There's no side to side play. I'm going to take the plate back out. And I'll finish drilling out the second top hole. second hole drilled on the top we have our bolt through I'm going to repeat that process of putting the motor slide plate back in the grooves to make sure there is no side to play side to side plate or there's not enough room to go put the slide plate back in very smooth there's no side to side play now we can take the plate out and finish drilling the rest of the holes all right, now that we have our top two holes drilled with both bolts in and tightened, now we're gonna focus on the bottom two holes. I have a six inch long drill bit, and the reason I like this drill bit is because I can make pilot holes for each of the bottom holes, and I do not have to take this round bar out. And uh, by not taking this round bar out, it keeps everything squared. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my two pilot holes. Now I'm gonna completely dismount the jack plate from the transom now.
was drilled, we're going to use our 3M 5200 marine grade sealant to seal all of the holes that we just drilled. So you're going to put a circle around each hole on the outside of the transom and on the inside of the transom. And when you go to mount your jack plate, everything is going to smush that 5200 around all the holes, allowing no water to seep inside the boat. Alrighty, so now that we have all the 5200 around each hole on the outside and inside of the transom, now we're going to put the bolts through starting from the inside of the transom out. housing mounted to the back of the transom and it's time to mount the jack. So first if you look closely there are three mounting holes on the bottom mounting bracket and then once you put the slide in there are three mounting holes on the top mounting bracket. So with these mounting holes we have made it so you can adjust where you mount the jack into to get the maximum performance out of your engine uh, where you can just really dial it in. Um, and of course, once you're out on the water, if you want to readjust and notice that uh, it's not performing the best on the hole setting that you chose, you can always go back and readjust the hole settings of where you mount your jack into. Now we're gonna mount the jack to the jack plate. the bottom part of the jack mounted to the uh, jack plate housing, we're going to go ahead and put in our motor slider plate. install with the on the fly jack plate and now it's time to mount the engine. Now you can make sure that it spins up and down nice and smoothly and once you find that it does now you can mount your engine. installed, the motor installed, we have used our motor spacers made by on the fly jack plates. And once you have done this, now what you're going to want to do, and we highly recommend this, you're going to want to drill straight through your motor mounting bracket and put bolts through. This way there will be no chance of your engine slipping off while the boat is underway. It's working great. You guys have a great time out on the water. Of course, if you have any questions during the install, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, I'm available by uh, cell phone, text message, email, 
and through all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.